Hey folks, welcome back to the homestead. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this six foot, eight inch by eight foot chicken coop behind me for less than $50. My main source of material for this project was wooden pallets. I used some pallets whole, others I pulled apart and I used the stringers and the boards for lumber. So the first step was to go ahead and start setting some blocks and I started with one at each corner and then I actually put a few columns in the center to give it a little extra support. I wanted to show you how I put these pallets together. I just lined them up the best that I could, and once I was satisfied, I just put some three and a half inch screws through them. I actually pulled one pallet apart and uh, began flooring it with those boards. Looks like it'll probably take five or six all together. All right, I need to bring you up to date on the status of the chicken coop. I've got the first section of walls up. Actually got all four of them up. You can see in the center where the door is gonna be. Um, the way I've been doing this is I've just been laying the pallets horizontally and putting screws through them. And you just wanna use a screw long enough to go through this. And I actually had to uh, cut a couple of them in the front and actually had to cut the ones on the side to a little bit of a shorter length to help tie these together i sawed out some more pieces of wood uh, from pallets of course and went around to all the joints and put in some screws and uh, feels pretty solid in here So what I ended up doing here, instead of stacking a whole pallet for the second section of the wall, I ended up cutting them down a little bit. And these sections that I cut out, they're actually 20 and a half inches. So that gives me an overall height on my walls of five foot and a half inch. I'm six foot tall. I know I'll have to hunker down just a little bit once I get in here to feed or clean or do things, but I'm okay with that. I thought that maybe this would be a little bit less weight on the walls and maybe just easier to work with. All right, I've got all four walls up. I just wanted to show you, I took some of the stringers out of those pallets and I just went around and I put uh, one of those all the way around and I used that to sort of tie in these walls just to give it some added strength. Now I'm ready to start putting a roof on it. I want the roof to have a little bit of a pitch to it. So I took some of these stringers and I built, uh, I guess you could call it a header maybe. I've got it raised up about six inches I think that'll be enough. This building's just six foot, eight inches wide. I just want the rain and uh, snow and stuff to be able to drain off of it. That way it don't hold a lot of weight. But here's what we're looking at so far. first rafter up. I 
got about an eight inch overhang in the front and the back. And I think that's gonna be enough pitch so that it'll drain good. I came up on the bank here behind the coop to try to give you a little bit better of a view of the rafters that I made using the stringers from the pallets. As I said, I just spliced those together. I think it's gonna be strong enough to hold up to the elements. Um, I'm gonna put some lathing boards on here in just a few minutes and then we'll start covering it with metal. Now I'm up here putting on some lathing boards. I took some of the boards from the pallets and just spliced them together. There's gonna be a seven inch overhang on the sides and an eight inch overhang on the front and the back. Just got back from a local metal supplier and I picked up a few pieces of metal to go on the roof of the chicken coop. I bought the cheapest grade that they have in order to save money. Uh, the colors are all different and they just pull from the top and you just have to take what you get and there's no warranty on it. But it saved a lot of money. There's a big difference in the price of it and their other metal. Other than putting a few more screws in, I've got the metal all on. It took three pieces and the roof will be finished. Now that the roof is finished, I'm starting to box in the chicken coop and I wanted to show you all how that I'm doing that. I took some more pallets and pulled them apart and I'm taking those boards and just putting them over top of the gaps and the pallets that I use for the walls. This is very similar to using the board and batten method. So that's got the front boxed in. I've got the outside boxed in. I actually cut some smaller boards to put up there at the top. I'm gonna close in the sides and that's it for the outside. So I just spliced together two of the stringers out of the pallets to make a roost and then I took a third one and made a support post in the center of it. Somebody that I work with gave us these two milk crates and we're going to use them as the nesting boxes. So that gives us two nesting boxes, and I believe that'll be enough to get us started, but I am going to look around and see if I can find some more milk crates, and I'll put at least one or two more in here. So folks, here's the finished product. Six foot, eight inches wide, eight foot in length. Less than 50 bucks. Hey folks, I wanted to give you a breakdown on what it actually cost to build this. We used between 25 and 30 pallets, and I was able to find those for free. We used some concrete blocks that I actually already had, so I didn't have to pay for those. I did buy three pieces of metal to go on the roof, and that costed $44.52. We used milk crates that we got for free for the nesting boxes. As far as tools, all you really need to build something like this is a hammer, a pry bar, and a circular saw or something to cut the wood with, and you will need either a drill or an impact driver to drive the screws with. If you don't have those tools, it's a good chance you know somebody that's got them that would lend them to you. I want to give you a couple tips on where you can go to find these things. Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace is something that I use. Also, just word of mouth. Ask people that you work with or go to church with or neighbors or friends. If you know somebody in construction, you might be able to get your hands on some scraps that you can use or some things that they had left over. A lot of times people tear down barns and buildings and uh, they'll salvage the wood the lumber in those and maybe barn tin. You can uh, look around and just kind of get creative and I think you can do the same thing that we did. You can put together a chicken coop on the cheap. We are so grateful to the Lord for all his blessings and all that he has given us um, to be able to do something like this. We're thankful for you guys and we just hope that each and every one of you all know how much we appreciate you. That's right. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Until then, God bless you. Bye.